I saw Jeff Bezos yesterday. Well, I, di I didn't actually see Jeff. I saw his yacht just around the corner. Um, nice yacht, by the way, Jeff. Good, good style. I like it if you're watching. But more importantly, I saw his toy carrier, a very impressive toy carrier. Today, I'm on a boat that would look quite fitting on Jeff Bezos's toy carrier. I'm on the Frauscher 1017 GT. This is a modern gentleman's racer. So if you remember those 1950s style timber gentleman's racers that you see from back in the day, this is the modern version of that. So welcome, this is the tour. If you're interested in how this boat drives, we have just done that. That is a separate video to this and I'll link to that at the very end of this presentation. This is the walkthrough. My name's Dan Jones. You're watching Dan's Boat Life. Uh, we'll start right now at the back of the boat. So, um, Austrian company, uh, family owned, been around since 1927. They started in Vienna and uh, they did start on the lakes and they have expanded. Now they build these beautiful, um, classic, stunning boats which are also suited to rougher waters. So here we are in Majorca where we have just tested it on a little bit of choppy stuff. So you do notice that their designs have a lot more V action. We've got some air steps in this one. So you have that high speed capability. This is a 50 knot boat, but uh, you can chop through a little bit of the nasty stuff. In terms of options, this particular 1017, um, there's not a lot to it. It's really just the paint job, the upholstery, the teak, some electronics and of course you can choose what engine you have um, other than that it's the boat because what this is all about it's the feeling it gives you it's the look of this boat it's it's um, you going out on a saturday and having the best experience a motive experience that you can create for yourself so here we are at the back of the boat no extended platforms or anything like this once again this style of swim platform um, it dresses you is the way I'm going to describe it because it frames you if you're out there looking back at this thing This this boat frames you and that's what this um, swim platform does here We've got the uh, the lighter corking uh, on this teak deck here And then you've got the hook just here so you can tow a skier on this one We're running the duo props uh, on the stern drives and we have courtesy lights here and here and then on the starboard side just here We've got a cold water swim shower um, I wonder if that's hot as well. Can't tell, I think it's cold only. I've got my engine um, air intakes just out the back here, and I've got my shore power uh, fitting just here. Pop-up cleats are aft, midships, and forward. We'll see them as we make our way forward. But as you board at the transom, now this is how we would board in Australia, but here in Europe, you might be boarding the other way around. It kind of depends, but you are welcomed into this picture as you see here so you you walk up through the middle and on either side oh ladies this is where all your supermodel girl model girlfriends hang out or whoever guys or girls you're all welcome but that's what that's designed for high quality stitched leather on both sides so patrick maybe you go that way a little bit and just capture all this so everyone can see um, little details on these boats uh, I pointed this out on the Demon the other day. I just I really love what they're doing. Every single screw head faces the same direction. Now, it is a little bit salty. We've just been for a drive. We didn't get time to wash it. Um, fuel intake on this side, and I've got my anchor light fitting just there. Now, you go through the middle, down one step. This step actually flips up, and you do have a little bit of storage underneath. And we do have storage underneath both of these seats here and here. The cockpit is drained. We've got drains here, here, and I believe these drains go down into the bilge and then they're pumped out electrically. But on the port side, you have a super neat little uh, lunch table, which fits in here. Now, now that teak lunch table actually stores in its own little storage box behind me. So we can open the engine hatch, which I'll do at the end of the video. So just keep watching for that. And you can pull out a teak lunch table and there's a whole, uh, fiberglass storage box which can store some other items if you need now you may notice these stainless steel rails on either side that's the only visible part of the sun bimini when it's stowed so to deploy it that's also opening the engine hatch that gives you access to it and then you manually 
push it out. It's quite a good looking one. I wouldn't do 50 knots with it up uh, in place, but I would do say 25. That's not really gonna be a problem. Let's just have a look in here, check it out. Cooler for your wine bottle, some Frauscher logoed cups just there. Under the floor just here, I will open this. I'm just gonna have to move this for sale sign out of the way, but have a look, decent fender storage. So we've got our sump box is in this location as well. And we've got some more little convenient storage compartments. And just look at the finish of the teak floor just there. Isn't that lovely? These seats are also a bit of a work of art. They cup you really, really comfortably when you're underway. So you can hook this boat into a bit of a fast turn and it's, it's quite pleasurable. She doesn't lose the back end so much as some of, uh, you know, some of the American style boats are gonna do. She really is gonna hook into the turn and this seat will hold you in position. You can put an arm there, you've got a grab handle there and another one there and you can feel really good. Now, I didn't cover this side, so you go over there and just capture this and so then we'll work our way around, Patrick, before we go downstairs. Um, another opening compartment just here for storing a few bits and pieces. But if you, if you can see this ledge here, see these stainless steel um, just there, that is actually a foot pad. So that's gripped step there and here to go forward. Now we don't have any bow railings on this boat deliberately because it's all about the looks. You wouldn't want to have that on a boat like this. It would absolutely ruin the experience. It does mean you need to be reasonably steady on your feet. It's a wide boat, it's a stable boat, it's got a very low center of gravity. The fuel tank's down there low where it needs to be. But you, you know, if you're not good on your feet, don't go up there. Um, what we're also seeing here, these are the attachments for the fenders. So you tie your fenders on and they go all the way to the front of the boat. So perfect for med mooring. So get back here to the helm. Just get all this in shot, Patrick, and we'll just show everyone. It really is simple, fun, pleasurable driving. So you're just gonna be glancing down at the analog gauges from time to time. You're not gonna be looking at your gauges other than that. This is a boat that you drive by feel, you drive by sound, and that's how you enjoy the experience. The gauges are there for when you need. We've got all our boat systems. We've got our fixed race steering wheel. They're Volvo. We're running the 430, the V8, big blocks on this one. Your bow thruster is forward of that. That's a drink holder there. This is your alarms. So that would just show up just there. Your digital diagnostics on both sides, left and right. And then your uh, trim gauges for the legs, plotter in the middle, fuel on the port side, Fireboy down here, and then we've got speaker and subwoofer just below the driver's seat just there. And on port side, we have this little glove box here, super well finished, but a very neat design in here, which is perfect for throwing your phones, that sort of thing. Another drink holder on the port side just there. So before we go downstairs, let's just go up onto the bow and you really would come up and sunbake up here because you've got a bucket load of space. Look at what we've got here. We've got two opening forward facing hatches, which go downstairs. You're gonna be really impressed with the amount of accommodation that we have down there. Proper uh, bow cleats up here with protection, as you can see with the stainless steel on either side. But I just wanna quickly show you the anchoring setup. So this, when you anchor, those gas struts push the bow roller clear of the bow and then when you retract it it the anchor windlass actually pulls it back in into place it's a simple system it works really well and it's absolutely gorgeous because the anchor on the front of this thing's fantastic there's your red and green lights just there um, and this windscreen the curves are amazing but they've managed to keep the clarity it's often really hard to get these sorts of lines, this look, which is a hallmark of Frauscher, but achieve clear visibility. So they've managed to do it on this one. Let's go downstairs and have a look below. Okay, so this is your door. It actually slides all the way from here down to there. That's nice and simple. You come down into this quite luxurious accommodation space. Remember, this is a externally gorgeous day boat you don't always expect to have this much room 
down below as you do on this one. You can also appreciate the construction of the boat. Obviously, we're going all the way out to the extremities of the hull here, and we've got these ribs here stiffening up the structure itself. And you can feel that when you're driving through the, through the waves. This boat feels stiff and solid. So a little bit of storage underneath here. This could be used as a bed. The angle's really nice. We've got this lighting all the way around. We can keep it cool with these forward-facing hatches, as I mentioned before. They'd be escape hatches as well. Um, storage on either side. Same again on that side. We've got some speakers just down below. We have the lovely teak decking all the way through. And we've got a proper neat galley. So two fridges, a little bit of storage underneath this sink just here. Proper little setup just there. All your frousher glasses and everything. Same again on this side. That's hot and cold. And the loo is a proper loo. Actually, switch that light on just so everyone can see. There you go. So look at that. I'll actually sit down just quickly. So just to give you some perspective, you've got quite a bit of space in here. The headrooms as such and then if you were washing your hands i would probably just kneel down and that's the easiest way to do it you've got a big ledge on the back here grab handles just here and here mirror mirror strip lighting a little bit of storage underneath it's really everything that you need got the engine hatch open but before i get there your champagne bucket all important this was the teak picnic table that i was talking about and that stores just below here. So she opens with an electric worm drive just in the center line there, operate that from the helm. And then we have this storage box um, center line in the middle, which stores your lunch table uh, and the table leg. And then all this extra space here is actually for the full boat cover to protect the boat. So that's where you would store that. Uh, forward of this, um, uh, of this storage box is actually the fuel tank, 520 odd litres of petrol forward of that, down deep and low where you want it. On either side, you have house batteries and then crank batteries for the motors, uh, port, starboard, and then the house is back here on the port side. Uh, the motors are the big block, 430 uh, V8s. Now they are uh, freshwater cooled or coolant, as you can see through the header tanks just here. We've got the Fireboy system over on the starboard side. And just have a look at the flow coat and the finishing uh, internally of the engine bay. It's just very well done. So it's just worth paying attention to that. Everything's been laid out quite nicely. You can see the ribs um, keeping the rigidity of the boat, which we did feel through the test drive. Power distribution over here, battery charger here. So all very professionally done. Before I finish up, this was the Sun Bimini just here, which I was talking about before. So that's deploys when you have this open, and then when it's deployed, you then lower the engine hatch, like so. Okay, so it was a bit of a rush one, guys. We're on a bit of a time limit, so I hope you can appreciate the beautiful boat. This is the 1017 Frauscher GT. Um, if you're interested in how this boat drives, we have done a test drive. That's a separate video. Click on the link coming up on the screen right now.